Concepts, Values and Wise Advice from the Billy Meyer Contacts Compiled by David Chance Revised October 18, 2023 Spiritual Teaching Forward Slash Teaching of Truth Teaching of Creation Energy Teaching of Life, General, See Also Explained by the Billy Meyer Contacts Creation See Also Explained by the Billy Meyer Contacts Creation Energy See Also Wise Advice Discussion Board of Figu Announcements The Creation Energy Teaching, for example dealing with ethics, moral, learning, evolution, behavior, etc. All of which aspects that relate to everyday life and learning in order to become a true human being. The Kern Group der 49, Simyase Silver Star Center, the 2nd of April 2023. Ask its Explanations Part 6. And if I speak of my teaching, truly, then I thereby name the teaching of all great ages, the teaching of the Spirit and the teaching of the laws and recommendations of creation which are eternally imperishable. I learnt it in a similar way to you, and furthermore spent long years in the distant land of Kush note from Billy, today part of North India, where I was permitted to experience further learning. So the teaching is indeed preached by me, yet it is truly not originally from me. But what I convey and what you will also convey is the truth in the truth. This truth does not represent a path to the truth, rather, it is truly the ancient all-primeval truth itself. It can never be changed and always possesses the same values. It is the ultimate, the existing, the timeless, and that of the great time of all periods and levels. You mean, according to the understanding of my time, that it is the eternal truth, and indeed in all dimensions of the material and the spiritual? Truly that is so. In your time of the great time will be called eternity. Contact Report 7 There are unfortunately many things that a human being may only come to know after he or she has become spiritually thinking, and the spiritual knowledge and spiritual essence of wisdom have developed into the must-have form. Contact Report 10 Sense and task of the spiritual teaching, therefore, are to spread truth, knowledge, essence of wisdom, and love. If the teaching fails to do so due to misuse or false interpretation, then it is no longer a help, but instead becomes an evil cult that enslaves the material consciousness through irrational teachings and creates unknowledgeness, as is the case with the irrational teachings of the sects and religions. But if it exercises the function of the consciousness widening and the spiritual knowledge widening, then it is a mightful instrument of the creational regulation. The spiritual teaching is about the spreading of the cognition, the truth, the knowledge, the essence of wisdom and the love, the eternal, the immortal, the everlasting that overcomes the death and spreads light, that manifests the equalizedness of the essence of wisdom and the love in itself, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Contact Report 14 I have already noticed on several occasions that spiritual truths harmonize, even if they are spoken in other words. Contact Report 18 Before we discuss other things today, I would like to proceed with the spiritual teaching, as it is the most important thing of all. Contact Report 38 We can reveal a great deal of knowledge and many secrets, but everything must always be oriented in such a manner that certain values still have to be worked therein, worked out through the consciousness work of the individual. It is pointless and, on the other hand, also irresponsible if from our or from your side the spiritual teaching is transmitted in larger extents than this can be borne by the individual interested ones. From one treasure of knowledge to another, smaller or larger periods of time must be inserted during which the offered must find its attention and the necessary understanding. 
simply to give many explanations and an enormous knowledge that these explanations and knowledge are called is illogical. Everything must bear fruit when something is given before the next seed can be sown. Knowledge of things and truth alone is not enough, because the truths and wisdom contained therein, and all paths must also be analyzed, understood, and committed. Thus, both through us and through you, new values of the spiritual teaching can only be revealed from time to time, and only in precisely dosed form. Contact Report 39 Many Earth humans still strive far too little to be able to understand certain knowledge completely. That is also often due to the fact that many human beings are much too overwhelmed with everyday worries. That may very well be, but still, that does not entitle them to neglect the values of the spirit. In the entire universe, there are no life forms that do not have to do any consciousness-related work for their existence. Rather, they devote themselves to the valuable teaching of the spirit. Work and worries are never an excuse for disregarding the given laws and recommendations. It just concerns a lack of effort because that which is material is considered more important. Contact Report 89 And let it be said another time that there is only one teaching which is of the value, of the truth, and of the truthfulness, namely that which you have learned and spread as the proclaimer of the new times. It alone is the teaching of truth, and it alone leads to the goal of the relative absolute perfection and absoluteness. This one teaching, of equal value throughout all great time, is truth, imperishable and unchangeable, and it alone is the law and recommendation, namely the law and recommendation in the creational, whole, universal sense. Thus it reveals universal consciousness, Contact Report 91 But now I wonder what it must be like, or what happens when a teaching is negative. If there is a negative doctrine, then the difference is that there is no self-generated connection to the doctrine disseminator and to his place of residence, but a compulsion that is based on fear and terror, namely that death and corruption arise in one's own body if the false doctrine disseminator is not obeyed in his or her orders. But the same also happens in the case of fanaticism or faith. So you see that the difference lies in the fact that in a true teaching of the truth, a voluntary connectedness is produced, whereas in a teaching of the untruth, or simply of the negative, a coercion and an obsession become decisive. Contact Report 848 The only thing that is important is to bring the teaching of truth, teaching of creation energy, teaching of life to the human beings of the earth worldwide, whereby the human being shall become a true human being if he really learns it and makes it his own. Contact Report 852 Only in this process can it be prevented that the teaching of truth, teaching of creation energy, teaching of life, is not falsified and becomes a delusion of faith. This has happened many times since the time of Enoch up to the present day, namely through the fact that through enormous falsifications of the teaching, great religions with unparalleled falsehoods have been produced whereby earth humans on the whole have changed in such a way that their degenerations surpass the natural nature of all species and kinds of predators. This is evidenced by the militaries, which you rightly call murderous organizations, which were very early formed by the earth humans in a primitive process and by which battles were waged with very primitive weapons in ghastly slaughters. As a result, already in ancient times, tremendous killings were committed all over the earth and in many lands. Contact Report 863 And when I thus bring the teaching of truth, teaching of creation energy, teaching of life, then with absolute certainty, those human beings are very grateful when they learn this and can use it for themselves 
and make their life and existence happy, good and contented, which is after all part of the purpose of the whole. That human beings are then grateful, that is clear and self-evident, but to see something special in me because of this is neither correct, good nor in any other way appropriate, for as is known today, I did not simply receive the teaching of truth, teaching of creation energy, teaching of life. For every iota of knowledge and ability all the heralds of Nakadimian's teaching have had to work up again and again for nine billion years, corresponding to the respective time, out of their own creation energy within themselves. So I too had to work out the teaching for myself through hard training and learning according to today's value and understanding. Just as every other normal human being must also laboriously learn everything himself and keep it in his consciousness for the time of his development for his life. But he can only do this if he keeps on learning and never gives up in this respect.